closely, you'll notice wearing sandals. Uh, there's a good reason why. I mean, it, it's about 35 degrees in the heat today, and um, what you'll notice when it's really hot or when you're on your feet for a long time, and especially when both are happening, is that um, your feet and ankles swell a bit. So all my normal shoes are too tight and they'll cause discomfort if I ride in them. So I'm going in sandals. The other good thing about sandals is that they, they force you to have good technique, especially on an elliptical bike. You have to ride with your heel flat, you know, keep moving your feet about, all those things. So sandals um, are really good for long distance cycling and a lot of long distance cyclists carry them around because they allow your feet to expand. And they are sandals which <coughs> have clips adapted to clipped pedals that um, um, road cyclists use. So everyone can wear sandals regardless of the type of bike they ride. Now today, it's my first ride in two weeks. Had a nice holiday and just a lot going on so I couldn't ride. I, I did some indoor sessions, just short indoor sessions on the elliptical machine in the gym to maintain my fitness. One, it's 35 degrees and it's been like this for, for two weeks, but two, it's, it's cooler in the gym, there's air conditioning. So if you don't wanna be out in this weather, um, the gym is actually a place where you can maintain your fitness without the suffering and that's kind of my the main theme of today's reflection um, excuses you know we can come up with excuses for why we can't do things um, you know this ride although I'm riding a heavy bike and I'm working quite hard it's actually easier than going on a walk for the same period of time why because I've got the wind blowing over me when you ride the wind is blowing over you um, so it's like having a fan. As long as I don't stop, I'm actually quite temperate. I'm just feeling normal. It's only when you stop that you notice it's 35 degrees. So thing is just not to stop. Also, don't ride too hard because if you ride too hard, nothing can save you. Um, in here, that bottle there is my salt tablet. So when it's hot like this, take salt tablets because you're going to lose a lot of electrolytes and that can make the ride really unpleasant and can kill your performance. So that's what I do for the heat. But then people talk about in winter or when it's raining. There's always an excuse if you want one and there's always a solution if you want one. And it's very important to know that because the only way to achieve anything in health and fitness and in fact in life is to be consistent. Now, if you've always got an excuse for why you can't be consistent you don't succeed so you choose solutions or excuses and um, I know lots of people might think they've got a unique situation and um, they don't like the sound of what I'm saying but when you're alone look into your own soul and be honest with yourself are you just looking for excuses have you explored every avenue you know if you're still listening at this point hear me out I am not saying excuses are false most excuses are very real all I'm saying is that every roadblock has a detour and when you come up against a roadblock you can either accept it and quit there or you can find a detour and continue your journey to where you want to go these are choices honestly some of the excuses and some of the, the roadblocks are big ones, but they can be overcome. That's how you get good at doing things, guys, in everything, in business, in fitness, in life. So embrace the solutions rather than embracing the excuses. I hope that makes sense to some people.
this. That's a, a buzzard or an eagle of some sort. It's a hawk, I think. It's huge. At least as big as a chicken. It's alive. But when it saw me coming, it crouched down, so it must be wounded. I'm not going any closer than this. Those things are dangerous. Uh, unfortunately, you can't see the size from this far away. It's massive. It's bigger than a chicken. I chickened out. I, um, <laughs> I, I couldn't go too close to the thing because it looked dangerous. Um, but it was crouching down to hide, so it obviously couldn't fly away. Um, I don't know why it would do that, but um, I just wasn't prepared to find out just to get a better shot. I think that's a good place to end this video.